Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Kasama natin ang ating kababayan na si Calvin Baguisan, who is with the Ilocano Movement. How are you, Calvin? I'm doing great. Thank you guys for having me here. Aloha, as they say. We yes. are here in Honolulu, and we're getting to know about the Ilocano Movement. Now, talk to me about this group, this organization. I know you're the director, but what is the Ilocano Movement? Well, um, just to kind of give you a snippet, Ilocano the Movement was a brainchild of the Ilocano program at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Is that where you went to school? Yes, I went to school there. So me and a couple of my friends uh, had gotten together and we did notice how, uh, how close-knit co the community was in terms of the culture and the language and we were ab able to kind of you know, uh, proliferate the language through there and we wanted to extend it out to the community. Uh, because it is just a uh, university at the university level. Okay, so what were the activities that happened at the university level? Because I know that uh, there was language instruction yes. where students could learn Ilocano, yes. right? Which is huge. Yes. To, to have a place to learn. Exactly. Okay, it what other actually... activities? Uh, the other activities that we do have at the um, Timpuyog would be the organization that's part of the Ilocano uh, organization. It, we had classes as well as we got together twice every year to do a uh, semesterly event and this is to do plays and what uh, and song in Ilocano. Okay so it's sort of like um, we have a counterpart called the PCNs right the yes. Filipino Cultural Night so is this quite similar but just focusing really on the Ilocano experience? Absolutely I would say um, with they are strictly Ilocano and we also do have a Tagalog program as well at the university so they have their own cultural night. How many members do you has, have as of now? Well so far we've grown close to just five members but we would hope to expand it to a lot more. As you can see the viability of the Ilocanos it's just not only in Hawaii but it's everywhere around the world. Mm -hmm. So um, specifically in Hawaii there's about 80% of Ilocanos and I feel we're underrepresented and um, you know we go to the schools and we go to uh, the workplace and then we tell them about how Ilocano is such a, an important language to have and to speak uh, with other people and um, you know slowly but steadily we're growing in numbers. So Calvin, uh, as a second generation Filipino who's Ilocano yes. in Honolulu, why is it so important for you to be part of this organization, the Ilocano Movement? What do you get out of it? Why are you so passionate about it? Well, personally for me, I'm not so much fluent in the Ilocano language, but I know that my parents are, and they would love to speak to me in that language. And I appreciate that because I don't want there to be a miscommunication. I also want them to understand uh, how I can speak as well as how they can speak. So. Um, you know, it just really is important to me because there are so many people uh, that are yearning for a place to call home. And for, for me and for a lot of them is the Ilocano language and that's where it brings me back home. Okay, so a lot of people just like you yeah. are growing up here in Hawaii but, you know, claiming mm -hmm. that they're Ilocano isn't something that they necessarily tell the whole world, Yes. right? How can Ilocano the movement change that? Uh, like I said earlier, we do have um, community lessons that we go out into the schools and we go out to different working places and then uh, we encourage others to just accept who they are as an individual, not just a Filipino, but uh, Cebuano, Ilocano, Tagalog, whatever it may be. There's a lot of facets to you know, being, uh, being a Filipino and there are a lot of cultural aspects and cultural differences um, that we can just unite together as one and to just... Um, to share to that. Share. Yeah, yeah, to absolutely. share that with everyone. Okay, mga kababayan, I highly encourage you to get in touch with the Ilocano movement. Uh, it's so important, especially parents that are watching, that you encourage the younger generation to learn about it. I mean, as a parent, yeah. I think that it should begin in the house yes absolutely. but as we know here in hawaii so many people work so hard that we aren't able to give that opportunity to our children to share our culture so the next best thing is to encourage them to reach out to people like calvin and the ilocano movement so that they can you know they can find unity in the community by being a part of this movement because really it's about 
discovering who you are amongst your other people, right? right. So Calvin, maraming salamat as they say. How do you say thank you in Ilocano? Agyamana. Agyamana. All right, so there you have it. I learned some Ilocano today. I hope all of you will learn to get in touch with the Ilocano movement. There's that information and please uh, make every effort to really embrace who you are here in America because let's not forget, we are not just Filipino, but all of you who, who might be watching our Ilocano too. So as they say, FBI's out there. Yes. I know you're there. <laughs> as they say, you full-blooded Ilocanos, embrace it and be proud. Be proud to share who you are. Agyamanak Laun, I thank you so much for being able to support me and the Ilocano movement. You know, we are strong and proud to be who we are, and I encourage you all to do the same. Thank you.